Hello everyone! A while back Affinity released a creative session with Chris Rathbone who was showing how to do a vector portrait in Affinity Designer. And I decided to follow along, to become more friends with this program and its vector persona. I chose Yol from The Last of Us because the show was airing during this time on HBO Max. Did you see it? If yes, did you like it? For me, it felt boring when they removed too many infected scenes. I loved the game. The artist did use pen tool for the line art. I'm not a big fan of this tool, I feel it takes too long. My ADHD screams, are you done yet? And if it takes too long, I get bored and stop working on the project. So I used me of pencil tool. With that, I can still move around the lines if I'm not happy with them, plus use pressure and so on. The artist do trace the picture for this, something I'm not a big fan of, so it felt very weird doing it. Tracing can be good if you want to something fast down as long as you learn something from it, but for these vector portraits this technique is a good approach. Overall, tracing is not bad if you're doing it on photography etc. Concept artists doing it a lot in their work to make it faster, but if you're doing it to copy another artist's style, stop. That's a big no-no. Subscribe to my newsletter and follow me on social media to stay up to date on my latest creation. And don't forget to share your own art in the Discord community. When the artist is done with the line art, he starts doing the grayscale to point out where the shadow and light should be. Grayscale is the, your best friend to make all your values right. I just don't like working in grayscale and then turn it in colors. I never get it right. But for this, he just changed the colors for each layers, something that goes super smooth when they're doing it in vector. He went with the more warmth, while I went with more cool. To be honest, I did experiment a lot in this stage. Doing something I don't normally do makes it look just weird and I get scared of doing it. I ended up going back a few days later and colored it after the reference. Not sure if this approach will work with full body picture. Not tried it and not sure if I ever will try it. If you try it, post it in Discord community so I can see it. The creative session on Affinity own YouTube channel is amazing. They invite different artists that use their apps on a daily basis. I will totally recommend you checking them out if you feel lost with their programs. Gives tons of inspiration. Will I do more of these vector portraits in the f future? Well, I don't know. Maybe if I want something out fast like fan art, but at the same time, I don't want to rush my art just to get clicks. I learned that hard way and it's not worth it. Until next video, happy drawing.